This video will quickly demonstrate the usage of MT4 floating charts with Wine. It's in response to a support ticket, but I thought I might as well make a YouTube video in hopes that I won't have to repeat this case again. I'm currently on Kali Linux, which most of you probably won't be using, but the same procedure should apply to most other Linux distros and even Mac. I'm not going to go over the installation of Wine as it comes prepackaged on several popular Linux distributions and is easy to install in most cases. Once Wine's installed, there's really nothing special you have to do to install the software. You can run it from the Wine Programs MT4 floating charts menu item or the desktop shortcut if you have that. And that covers basic installation. The optional chart sync scripts are not usually automatically installed in this environment. If you don't see them under the Navigator Scripts window, you'll have to install them manually. To do so, open up a terminal and type in Wine Explorer. Find the MT4 Floating Charts Program folder. Modules Chart Sync. Now open up another terminal window and type in Wine Explorer and find the MetaTrader, MetaTrader 4 directory, MQL4 scripts. And you'll want to copy all the EX4 files from chart sync into the scripts folder. And after you've done that, you'll have to restart MT4. Now if you get this annoying window when you open MT4, it means you need to allow DLL imports which you can do by going to Tools, Options, Expert Advisors, and make sure to check Allow DLL Imports. Now when you start MetaTrader 4, you won't get that annoying window popping up anymore. And that's it. That pretty much covers um, how to use MT4 floating charts on Wine. Uh, please continue watching if you need help troubleshooting. The failed send request error is common when trying to start MT4 floating charts with Wine under Linux. The problem can be solved by opening up a terminal installing Wine Tricks And then using Wine Tricks to install Internet Explorer 7 or 8. I'm going to go with 8.
if I try to run the software, it should work. If you receive any entry point not found errors, check your line configuration and make sure that Windows version is set to no less than Windows XP. If you're unable to run an exe file directly and you're receiving an error like file type not recognized, try right clicking on the exe file and selecting open with Wine Windows Program Loader rather than double clicking on it. 